just want to do a quick little video of the lux meter I'm going to use to do the LED light test technology is getting so cheap now it's a great time to be alive um, no longer do I have to depend on what the manufacturer tells me um, I can simply do the test myself so I got onto amazon.com I found a five-star review lux meter that was reasonably priced and I purchased it uh, it comes with this little cover that protects the surface of the little bulb that does the readings. So let me remove the cover and we'll turn it on and play with it for a minute. Okay, it does a lot of cool stuff that I don't need it to do if you were measuring inside factories and warehouses and stuff like that. So, as you can see here, um, if I turn away from the sun, it gets darker and darker. So it is angle sensitive. If I get perfectly, you can see there, subtle movement changes will affect it. So what I've got to do with my LED light test is rig up a jig that will hold the light perfectly square to the meter and the meter perfectly square to the light. And this will allow me to measure uh, luminance. A lux meter does not measure lumens, it measures just the amount of light that is hitting the meter. So just to randomly take a measurement will do nothing. We need to compare them to each other to determine which one is the brightest. And so what I'm gonna do is rig up a jig that'll hold the light and the meter, and I will turn them on and videotape, uh, document which one is putting out the most luminance, luminous emittance. So, uh, with the technology this cheap, guys that like to tinker on stuff, there is no reason not to buy one of these and play with it yourself in your yard. This thing's like less than 20 bucks.